Let's take care of this limit. The limit as x goes to infinity, parentheses, ln(x) raised to the second power over x. First thing, you cannot bring the power to the front by the ln property. Because this is OK, you can bring the 2 to the front. But then in this notation, this means you have ln(x) times another ln(x). It's not like this. This means you have ln of x times x inside. So that's the notation business. Well, we're doing limits, so what can we do? The first thing is we plug in infinity into this x to see what we get. If you plug in infinity into ln, ln of infinity is infinity. Infinity raised to a second power, we have infinity. On the denominator, when you plug in infinity in here, we also get infinity. So this is the infinity over infinity situation. Well, we have to do more work. But then luckily, we can use Laputin's rule right away. So we'll do that. This right here will be the same as the limit as x goes to infinity. And then Laputin's rule says, I'm going to look at this expression. Just the numerator, I will differentiate that. And let's focus on that first. How can we differentiate ln x parentheses raised to the second power? We have to first bring the power to the front, and now stays on the numerator, so 2. And then the inside will stay the same, which we have ln x. And what else do we have? By the chain rule, you look at the inside. The, the derivative of inside is, well, ln x is just 1 over x. So we multiply by 1 over x because of the chain rule. So that will be for the numerator, and now let's look at the denominator. On the denominator, we also differentiate that. And then that's pretty easy. The derivative of x is just 1. So that's not too bad. But then the trouble is this. You see, if you have infinity into here, you have infinity. If you have infinity here, you have 1 over infinity, which is 0. So this is bad. And let's clean this up. This is going to be the limit as x approaches to infinity. On the numerator, we have 2 times ln x. And then let's bring the 1 over x, this part. We just need to bring the x to the denominator. So we're talking about this. The limit as x goes to infinity, 2 ln x over x. If you plug in infinity, you get infinity on the top, infinity on the bottom. So Lapitos rule again. So let's do this, and let's do that. So once again, this is the infinity over infinity situation. We're using Lapitos rule, and then we will still have the limit as x goes to infinity. On the top, the derivative of 2 ln x is just 2 over x. And the derivative of the bottom, the derivative of x is just 1. And now what? I'm almost done, because I just need to plug in infinity into this x, and we are talking about 2 over infinity, which we can draw a conclusion. This right here has to be 0, and that's the answer.